Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making hamburger noodle casserole. Alright guys, I'm starting out on my Copper Chef that I have preheated. And I have roughly about a pound and a half of hamburger or ground beef. Now I know I'm going to catch a little flack from some people because in different parts of the world you call it ground beef, hamburger, mince. I'm calling it hamburger because that's what we call it around here. This hamburger noodle casserole. So I'm going to get this down into my pan I have preheated. And I'm going to fry this up and break it up. And this isn't lean hamburger, so I'm going to have to uh, drain off the fat after it's done frying. Okay, now that my ground beef is done browning, I've drained off the excess grease. I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of onion powder. You can also cut in fresh onion if you like and saute it with the ground beef while it's browning. And I'm going to put in about a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. All right, now I have a 10 and a half ounce can of cream of mushroom soup. That's gonna go in there. And I turned my heat off, guys. We're done with that part. Dexter, I'm trying to record out here. You had your show the other night. And I have a 10 and a half ounce can of cream of celery soup. That's gonna go in. And guys, this is a really easy, quick casserole to make. All right, now I'm going to add in about a half a can of milk. Give that a stir just to mix everything together. And I may add in a little more milk. We'll wait and see on that. I just want to blend everything together and this is heating up the soup because the, the burn is so hot just warming it up a little bit and I just splashed milk on my other hot burner over here okay now I have a 12 ounce package of wide egg noodles I cooked so al dente we're gonna get them in there and I think I'm gonna go ahead and add in another half a can of milk so that's a total of one can ten and a half ounces of milk Get that down in there. I just want to mix everything together, guys. Okay, now I have a 12 ounce package of broccoli florets here that I microwave in the microwave for about three minutes just to warm them through. I'm going to stir them in. And, guys, if there's something here that you don't like, you can leave it out you don't have to put it in there okay now I'm going to take some shredded cheddar cheese I have two cups here I'm going to start out by putting about a cup in and I'm going to go ahead and stir that in so far today Dexter you're listening pretty good you're quiet in there now want to mix everything together well. I'm going to put a little more in there. That's about a cup and a half, guys. And you can use any kind of cheese you like. I'm just going with a uh, sharp cheddar cheese. Okay, now I'm going to put some more cheese on top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven uncovered for about 15 to 20 minutes just till everything heats completely through and the cheese melts. And then this will be ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and get that in the oven and when I bring it out I'll bring you guys back. Alright guys, I let this go for 15 minutes. It's done. It's ready to go. Let's go ahead and fix up a plate and see what we got. Alright guys, let me get in here and give this a try. Take some of these noodles. It's really good. Creamy, cheesy, good flavor from the garlic salt or garlic powder and onion powder. And the creamy mushroom and creamy celery soup gives a good flavor. Taste of my broccoli. That's good. As you can see, it's not overcooked. The color isn't bleached out of it. Get some of this uh, ground beef here.
That's really delicious, guys. I really like that one. Okay, there you have it. Hamburger noodle casserole. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see ya.